Welcome to Reading the Bible with Loke. Today we're going to start off, I just want to say, uh, um, shout out to all the people who can't afford private school. Um, shout out to the private school who post their price on the website. There's no calling, you know, submit a request, give us some information. It's just straight up. Here it is. It's 45 a year for your school, for your kid to go here. Um, I appreciate that. You know, I don't like, you know, uh, you know how you go to restaurants, you get like the market price stuff. Like, yo, just be a buck, man. Shout out to the parents who can, who could do that. And that's light work, you know, um. I look forward to that being an option, but I also look forward and forward more so forward into rather holding on to that money and then just finding a house in a better school district. <laughs> because I don't think I have any type of recourse for um, my kid spending like 35 on my kid every year. Like I don't think there's a tax break. But then again, I don't, I don't, I'm not in that space. I don't know if there's some type of way I could take advantage of that, maybe. But if not, I'm just going to look for the better school district. All right. So shout out to private schools. Psalm 49. Oh, let me turn my internet on. Hear this, all peoples. Listen carefully, all inhabitants of the world both low and high, rich and poor together, my mouth will speak wisdom and the meditation of my heart will be understanding. I will incline my ear and, con <laughs> and consent to a proverb. On the lyre, I will unfold my riddle. Why should I fear in the days of evil when the wickedness of those who would betray me surrounds me on every side? Even those who trust and rely on their wealth and boast of their abundance of their riches. None of them can by any means redeem either himself or his brother, nor give to God a ransom for him. For the ransom of his soul is too costly, and he should cease trying forever. So that he should live on eternally, that he should never see the pit and undergo decay. For he sees that even wise men die, the fool and the stupid alike perish. Even the wise men die, the fool and the stupid alike perish and leave their wealth to others. Their inward thought in their their inward thought is that their houses will continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They have lain, named lands after their own names, ignoring God. There's a lot of different ways to kind of take that. I would just keep reading. But man with all his self-honor and pomp will not endure he is like the beasts that perish. This is the faith of those, this is the fate of those who are foolishly confident and those after them who approve and are influenced by their words. Mm. I mean, I know what group they talking about. You know, you hear yourself, you hear yourself. Like sheep, they are appointed for Sheol, the netherworld. Death will be their shepherd. And the upright shall rule over them in the morning. And their form and beauty shall be for Sheol, Sheol to consume, the netherworld. I think I'm going to just start saying the netherworld. So that they have no dwelling on earth. But God will redeem my life from the power of the netherworld, for he will receive me. Salah. We got bars in here. Be not afraid when an ungodly man becomes rich. When the wealth and glory of his house are increased. For when he dies, he will carry nothing away. 
his glory will not descend after him. Though while he lives, he counts himself happy and prosperous. And though people praise you when you do well for yourself, <coughs> he shall go to the generations of his fathers. They shall never again see the light. A man who was held in honor, yet who lacks spiritual understanding and has a teachable heart. It's like beasts that perish. A man in honor, he lacks understanding and he has a teachable heart. It's like a beast that perish. Uh, right. Psalm 50. The mighty one God, the Lord, has spoken and summoned the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God has shown forth. May our God come and not keep silent. Fire devours before him and, a, and around him a mighty tempest rages. He summons the heavens above and the earth to judge his people. Gather, my godly ones, to me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens declare his righteousness, God, for God himself is judge. Hear, O my people, and I will speak, O Israel, I will testify against you, I am your God. I am God, your God. I do not reprove you for your sacrifices, your burnt offerings are continually before me. I will accept no young bull from your house, nor male goat from your folds. For every beast of the forest is mine and the cattle on a thousand hills. I know every bird of the mountains, man. There's so many birds out here. <laughs> it's a lot of birds out here. What's what's birdology? What's what's the term for that? I'm gonna let me find that out. There's a lot of different birds. Alright. And everything that moves in the field is mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you. For the world and all it contains are mine. Shall I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of male goats? Offer to God the sacrifice of thanksgiving and pay your vows to the Most High. Call on me in the day of trouble. I will rescue you and you shall honor and glorify me. I'd use that last bar right there. Lord, you said call on me in the day of trouble. What's that? I'd use that. 50-15. It's all you, Lord. You don't want to sit, sit high but seas low. It's all you. Bars. 5015. Take note. But to the wicked, God says, What right have you to recite my statutes? God, I got statutes out here. That's dope. Or to take my covenant on your lips, for you hate instructions and discipline, and cast my words behind you. Done that. When you see a thief, you are pleased with him and condone his behavior, and you associate with adulterers. Uh, kind of done that. You know, so. I don't think I associate. I mean, I what he's doing. I'll, I'll do a little bit. All right. You give your mouth to evil, and your tongue frames deceit. You sit and speak against your brother. You slander your own mother's son. So, so far, let me just recap. Don't hang around with thieves. If you do, don't condone their behavior. Don't hang around with people cheating on a wife. 
Look at that. Don't talk about your brother. These things you have done, I have kept, I kept silent. You thought I was just like you. Now I will reprimand and denounce you and state the case in order before your eyes. Now consider this, you who forget God, or will I tear you in pieces and there will be no one to rescue you? He who offers the sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving honors me. And to him who orders his way rightly, who follows the way that I show him, I shall show the salvation of God. Bars. All right, so we'll, we'll start right there. And start back up at 51. I think there's a lot of books in the Psalms, so it should be kind of... I'm going to try to start getting more in per episode just so we kind of can get on to some other books before I hit my number uh, where I plan to stop at. So I want to I want to kind of get through some some uh, some uh, uh, some other so I can get to some other cool little stories in the Bible. All right. Until then, read the Bible. Hello.